Today we are making protein packed breakfast burritos. Let's get it. All right, let's dig in and show you how to make this amazing bang on breakfast burrito. I'm telling you, it is packed with calories. It tastes so good and you're gonna scarf this thing down in a hurry. So let's go over all of the ingredients and how we get to make this perfection. All right guys, step one is gonna be dropping these hash browns. So if you look, these are just called Simply Potatoes and the only ingredients, I'm getting him to zoom in here, it's just potatoes and then <laughs> preservatives. So 85 grams of this is gonna be 15 grams of carbs. So let's measure it out so we know exactly how much we're getting. So 85 grams, almost. There we go, perfect. So half a tablespoon of olive oil. And all we're gonna do is coat this pan. It's on medium high heat. Coat it, you see it running around. Then we're gonna drop these potatoes. Make sure you spread it out. And listen to that sizzle. Next up, happy eggs. Because you know, they taste amazing. And we're gonna do two and two here today. So two whole, two white. And we're just gonna scramble them up. Super fancy way of separating. All right, so just beat them up. So you see how the potatoes are starting to brown. That's when we add some salt. So we have the salt out. Let's go ahead and knock that out. Salt the eggs, pepper the eggs, add some pepper, some onion. And we just have this chicken sausage and I'm just gonna chop it up. You can do it however you like. You can eat it whole, <laughs> you can put big chunks, small chunks. You could skin it. This is just spicy chicken sausage. Tastes really, really good. And it's way less fat. Okay, and then I'm just gonna literally just slice these into thirds. We will throw that in the same pan and brown this chicken sausage with the potatoes. Give those a turn. Perfect. Let's add the meat. Next, we're going to get these eggs on. Spray the pan with non-stick cooking spray. Oh, yeah. Listen to that. Now, push these eggs around. Let them get some color. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This is going to be so wonderful. I like them scrambled, so I'll chop that up, make sure those vegetables get good and cooked. And then when these are done, what I'm going to actually do is pull them off and drop them into a bowl because I'm going to brown the outside of these burritos so that the tortillas are nice and crispy. Eggs go in the bowl here. Oh no, I'm missing them. Don't miss any protein. You know the rules. And then look here. Oh, look at that. Potatoes going brown. That meat starting to get a little char to it. How can you literally not get behind eating healthy? I don't get it. Toast up these tortillas, one in. So what I'll do is I'll brown one side, get it warm, flip it, add the cheese, and then pull it, add the, all the ingredients. So go 28 grams of cheese here, because that's gonna give us eight grams of fat. So add half the cheese here. Add some egg and veggie. While that's toasting, it's gonna help melt the cheese. And then we'll take half of this meat mixture here, put that right on top with some potatoes. Look at that. Okay. Now we just repeat again. Toast one side, flip it, and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Now, if you're lactose intolerant, or just don't like cheese, or you want to be on a more strict plan, just avoid the cheese. 
And you could use, instead of, if you didn't like that chicken sausage, you could do regular old chicken, you could do steak, you could do shrimp, whatever you like. And then, last little bit here. Oh, God, yeah. All right. Layer of avocado on there. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Breakfast burritos, Chris Edmonds TV style. It, it, I'm telling you, if you can't get behind this meal, quick to make, easy, simple ingredients, tastes amazing. Like, uh, there's, a, there's no negative to this. And let's say you didn't want to have the chicken sausage like I was talking about. You could do steak, you could do more eggs, you could do regular chicken breast. There's so many things we can do here, guys. That's why I love cooking. That's why I love being a bodybuilder is because you can get creative with what goes into your mouth. As long as it fits your macronutrient profile, it's not coming from garbage food, you can make all of your meals taste amazing if you take time, energy, and effort. If you like this video, guys, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, Chris Evans TV, time for me to eat.